Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 5th grade concept of multiplying 3-digit by 2-digit numbers. This is standard 5.3b in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 18 off the 2021 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. So we had a flower shop employee ordering 48 cases. There are 140, 40, 144 roses, and here's our clue word in each case. That means we're dealing with equal groups. And even if we thought, well, maybe this is division, take a look at all your answer selections. They are all much larger, which means we're going to need to multiply these two numbers. Now, let me start you off with one way. Partial products. Let me show you how we can, in a very slow way, multiply these numbers. 144 times 48. Then we'll do the standard algorithm, which is sometimes called the shortcut. So we have 144 times 8. So we always start with the ones digit down in the bottom row. And we multiply that by the ones digit over and moving over to the left on the top row. So 8 times 4 is 32, so we're just going to write 32. 8 times 4 is still 32. Remember, this 4 is in the tens place, so it's really, it's a 40. So we know multiplying by multiples of 10, 20, or 1,000. We can do 8 times 4 is 32, and then since it's 40, we can just add an extra 0. That's kind of our trick for multiplying by multiples of 10, 100, or 1,000. Then 8 times 1 is 8, but that's really uh, 100. So that's 8 times 100, which makes 800. So that's that first row. Now we're going to switch over to this 4 right here. We're going to multiply this 4 by 144. But remember, this 4 is in the tens place, so really it's a 40. So 4 times 4 is 16, and that's really a 40, so that I need 16 with an extra 0. That's going to give me 160. 4 times 4 is still 16, but now it's 40 times 40 because they're both in the tens place, so it's 16 with two extra zeros. So let's make sure we get those in there. 1, 0, 2, 0. 16. Now our number is getting pretty big. And then this 4 times 4, 4 times 1 is going to be 4, but I've got 1, 2, 3 extra zeros because it's 40 times 100. So that's going to be 4 with 3 extra zeros. That's 4,000. Now, that's what partial products looks like. That's a lot of partial products. Let's add them all up. We've got 2. This is going to be 5, 11. Let's see, this is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 12, 13, 19, all right. And then we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, there we go. So 6,912, which is looking like H. What does the standard algorithm do for us? It's the shortcut, standard algorithm. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to take our multiplication. We're going to do it in two chunks because there were two big chunks here. This is the first row. This was the second row. So if we do our 144 times 48, this is what we do. We take our 8. We still multiply it by 4. It's still 32. What we do is we put our 2 there. We carry that 3 since it's really going into the tens place. So instead of putting it down here in the tens place, we're going to put it up here in the tens place. 8 times 4 is still 32, but we're going to add those three tens back in. That's 35. And instead of putting that 3 in the hundreds place, we're going to put it up here. So 8 times 1 is 8. Add the three hundreds back in, so we get 11. So if you were to take this right here, this 32, 320, and 800, add it together, you're going to get 1152. Now we're going to put a 0 here, because remember this 4 is in, it's really 40, so it's in the tens place. So 4 times 4 is 16, so we're going to carry that right there in the tens place. 4 times 4 is 16 again. Add this one back in, that's going to be 17. We're going to carry that 1. We scribble these out so we don't get confused. And 4 times 1 is 4. Add that 1 back in, it's 5. And this is what we get. 2, 11, 9, 69, 12. And this right here, 5,760, is the sum of those three products. Our answer is H.